So my name is Nikki Armacost and I'm the managing director and co-founder of Arc Finance, which is an organization that links microfinance entities and energy enterprises for the benefit of poor people. In my view, the social capital movement is sort of born out of the idea of doing well by doing good. And uh, we ran a conference at the organization that I was uh, part of before creating ARC, which was a capital markets event for microfinance. And that was really the underlying premise, that you could bring together investors and you could bring together philanthropists and you could bring together a set of practitioners from around the world who together, using their different sets of expertise, could find ways to do well by doing good. So ARC is an organization that's focused on linking microenterprise organizations with energy enterprises. I come from the microfinance side where microfinance organizations are finding many more customers who are saying, we really need electricity, we need, uh, we need it to pump uh, water, we need it to provide light for us at night. We need it for um, milling and grinding and husking and powering various machines that we have. Um, and so give us loans for that. And it's a little bit of a different kind of lending than typical micro lending. And so microfinance organizations need to make sure they're partnered with viable energy enterprises in order to make this kind of lending sustainable. On the energy enterprise side, they have clients who say, we want your biogas digester, or we want your solar panels, or we want your micro hydro system, but we, but, but we need money for that. And so they want to link with viable micro finance or financing entities that will help their clients access funding to purchase those goods and services. So we're a marriage broker between these two sets of actors who don't really understand each other, who are maybe a little bit suspicious of each other, and we're helping to bridge that gap and create viable partnerships that will ultimately benefit poor people. One of the challenges is, is being, having generosity of spirit in terms of the viewpoints of different people in this spectrum. Because I think there are actually quite different views that are captured in this in this social capital space um, from people who are really interested in profit maximization to people who are really interested in development. And there needs to be generosity of spirit and there needs to be dialogue and there needs to be a willingness to understand and listen to one another's positions in order to move together effectively. And that means reducing suspicion, re reducing um, uh, silos, reducing all of that kind of competitiveness that, that one sees and building partnerships and building collaboration. I think for me what made me get involved in, in this movement, in the microfinance movement in the beginning, was because I realized that I actually could make a difference in other people's lives. I could actually play a role in changing the world. And that was hugely, hugely exciting for me. And to meet, to be in a situation where I'm meeting on a daily basis people who feel that way and who not only feel that way, are actually doing it every day in their work, that's incredibly inspiring to me. Meeting young people from uh, universities where they are in very privileged positions wanting to go after they've had an MBA and change the world, that makes me so excited, it makes me thrilled to see that people want to do that. So that, I think, is what inspires me.